Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss what how to use filter tool in Alteryx. So here this is the Alteryx designer now here. So a uh, new workflow that already created. So first we need to drag one input data inside the workflow and here you can choose the file or database. So first I am going to import the data. So for this we need to click on the drop down. Here, click on the data source so you can use the different data source at this place. Now let's use Oracle and here you need to fill this all details. So here let's give for Oracle 1 and after here you can write your PC name, IP address or simply write local host. 1521 it's okay this is the option or you can write over here so going to connect with the HR user after filling this click on test okay now okay and here I'm going to use HR schema and uh, employees table So two employees table adds so from there I want only one so let's delete first one and here yeah, let's use a star so a star that indicate all the columns and here you can use the sort sort order aggregate function here grouping you can use so I'm not going to use simply I'm going to show you filter tool so input part that has star now here after let's drag filter Tool. So here uh, now first we need to stabilize the link. So link part that has done now. Here after the next is. So here now we can select the basic filter. So you can use any column at this place. So let's uh, select department ID and here going to use department ID directly. Now uh, after doing this uh, I want to display the record so let's use report and here report text. Now here let's track the link and here first filter mean workflow that part has done. After doing this let's click on run. Now here you can see 16 KB value is gone and here is the condition department ID equal to 50. So total at this place if I select 107 record it's coming. And after uh, when that turn here this is doing the filter and after applying the filter here 44 records it's only loading and department ID value only 50. So let's uh, select depart, uh, filter tool once again and here you can use equal not equal here this all values so not equal and uh, here I'm going to use not equal 50 and uh, it's the condition and here after click on run workflow. Now here you can see 16 KB value is coming and here this is the not equal and uh, here 107 and after when that go to uh, or target to values so here department ID here displaying exam 50. Now here after let's uh, apply some other condition so here so here you can use the uh, salary greater than equal to so let's uh, select uh, at here salary column so salary greater than equal to here going to use 10,000 now here after let's run workflow so 29.9 kb values come to the filter tool now this is the condition salary greater than equal to 10,000. Now here after 107 records are coming at this place and after doing the filter tool here you can see 
salary value greater than 10,000 and only 9 record are factored into the target. So by using add here, filter tool, basic filter, you can select only one column. So I want to select multiple columns. So here salary greater than 14, 10,000 and uh, department ID value only 60. So if I click here, let's uh, click department ID. So here you can use logical operator like and or. So department ID equal to 60. Now here after let's uh, see here you can see filter condition salary and department ID condition. Now here you can uh, see the values. So, so here salary greater than 10,000 and department. So here 9,000. This condition is not matched. Let's give uh, here 50, 5,000. And now let's run one again, once again. So here. 312 KB value from now see the target here you can see department ID or uh, 60 and salary greater than 5000 value so only two columns two rows has the values now let's go at this point filter tool so here you can give uh, on custom filter multiple columns so if I select here you can use uh, condition like uh, F then else and if it switch here conversion condition date time you can select and here you can use the file so this is the way we can use the filter tool inside artrix designer so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week